Sit. Come on. You were wonderful out there today. You were on fire like I've never seen you before. And now sitting you like this, I'm concerned. Is it because of your brother? I just can't get over the fact that I was driving in the accident that killed him. I was driving, and now he's dead. It should have been me. That's a lot to live with. You know you didn't kill your brother. You got into an accident. That sort of thing can happen to anyone at any time. It's not like you asked to survive, and I know you would have done anything to save your brother. Yeah. Sometimes I miss him so much that I wish I could trade my life in for his. You think that's weird? No, oh, it's not weird. It's probably normal. But you know what? You can't trade your life in for his. And if you weren't here, that would be a double loss for your parents, and it still wouldn't bring them back. As hard as it is for your parents right now, I know that they love you, and I'm sure they are grateful every day that you survived that crash. I just miss him so much. He was my best friend. It's, it's, it's just not fair. No, it's not fair. You're absolutely right. You're always going to love him. You're always going to miss him. Jake, there, there's a group that meets after school uh, with other kids who have experienced the loss. Do, do you think it would help you to talk about it, to sort of share your feelings with other people who are going through a similar thing? And I, I don't need a group. I don't want to sit around with a bunch of other people crying. It's not like that. They've all had an experience, maybe not exactly the same as yours, but they can relate to it. They've lost someone that they love, and they are finding ways to cope with that loss. I mean, I guess I could try it once for you. I've been feeling really alone these past few weeks because I can't talk to my parents about it because, you know, I was driving and I'm still here, and he's not. I, I feel like they might be blaming me or something, you know? And that's a tough thing for anyone to have to go through on their own. You know you can talk to me. And your parents, they're always going to be there for you. They are hurting, but they love you, and they're going to help you find what you need. Maybe like this group, or, or maybe find you some books to read, or maybe connect you to a counselor. Meet me here Thursday after school and I'll walk over with you. All right, coach. <laughs>